What's going on YouTube? I'm going to be talking today about putting our 3D scanned assets in virtual reality and some of the issues that you face. The main thing being the amount of faces. So this was one of the virtual reality flea market tables I made a while back. and uh, I did not reduce the face count on this one so there is 270,000 faces on this and when you go to view it in VR with cardboard views, viewers it um it stutters and lags and it just won't view. And while I'm on the Sketchfab page, let me bring up this other issue. When you hit the VR button and it has these annotations on there, the annotations go crazy. They they pop up all over the place. But that's that's a side note. Now, let's see with this model, it starts out with 150,000 polygons. The rule of thumb for virtual reality is it has to be half the polygons of whatever else you would be typically developing. So for this one, you can see in my 3D scanning software, I have multiple levels of detail from the original 75,000 polygons, 25,000, 2.5,000, 10K, and the ability, the way to um, reduce it, I'll show you now. It's kind of built into this 3D scanning software I use, but the main, the main tool you're going to use is this filters, remeshing, simplification, and reconstruction, and all the way down here to quadratic edge collapse with decimation, and it's this tool that'll give you the right number of faces you want, right? So the way you do it is you get an original model. I go here and I export the geometry for retouching. Yep export it and then I open this geometry in MeshLab I use the quadratic edge collapse decimation and I make it go from whatever it is now to what I want it so it's at 75 it's at 150,000 polygons originally I want it to be 115,000 so I type in 15,000 apply and you see what it did there it made made the mesh much less polygons so then what you do is export mesh, mesh as, blah, blah, blah. Then you re-import these, you import these geometry retouches. Yes. And then you submit this update on it and make a new model. So then you've got your 25,000 polygon model. And you hit quadratic edge collapse and simplification. You do it again. So now I want a 5,000 polygon model. Apply it. It reduces it again. Export mesh for retouching or export mesh as. Save. Yes. Replace the mesh. Yes. Then you repeat the process. Ex import geometry retouches. Yep. Yep. Run an update and then you get the. Um, the model like this one which is 5,000 polygons reduced but it still has the original colors and they're almost the original detail you can see the hard edges there from where it smoothed out the um, high poly models but this 5k model can actually be used in VR you can use that you can't use the other ones anyway that's that's the basic process I use for um, putting my stuff into virtual reality and what we need to follow as 3D scanners in the future you know reducing poly count for this stuff and um, anyway that's all I wanted to talk about today uh, thanks for watching guys like and subscribe